probably should do a shrinking drink class too. Um, you'll yeah, see at the yeah. end what this looks like at the very end, people. Everyone who wants to know Melody, I see you in Georgia. Um, sh you'll see everything. Hold on just one second. I know I got the same way when I saw her doing this. Okay, so now it's going. Okay, now go. I am. I've taken a lot, a lot of the um, the outside there, and I'm shaping the leaf shape to it. Oh, I'm pointing even. Look at that. Mm -hmm. This time on my computer. I don't know where you guys are, but <laughs> nope, that's perfect. Um, so I'm, I'm, okay, I'm using the smaller sanding drum now. Mm -hmm. And I've drilled a couple holes in the center. Uh, in the whatever drill bit you use, it's going to get gummed up with plastic with the shrinky dink. So I just end up throwing them out. Um, but I, I punch a couple holes in there with a the drill, or drill to be technical. And then I use the smaller um, drum to open up the hole. And I think that's, yeah, I show you how I do that. Yeah. And just kind of get it in edges. at an angle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And once you've got it round enough, you can actually get the tool right in there and, and cut it out. And then you use your files to and finish then, it off. And now you've riveted it together yeah. at this point. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a step. Right. There's actually a tutorial um, on Tanya's, Tanya Davidson's site that talks a little bit more and I might put together a little uh, blog post as well to show you because I did do some videos of the riveting is in some of the other stages there. Okay. So that's how so this is all held together, piece. guys. She's right here. You can yeah. see she's riveted together. See on that ring, the different rivets there, that thing's getting in the way right here. i move that. There we go. And I riveted see it together. Um, yeah. I riveted it together after I uh, started to, to sand down the shape a little bit. And then this is what I'm talking about. Oh, and about. then the... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, well, I was just going to point out the files um, that you can use. Those are just like kind of inexpensive files that I've used to just smooth the plastic a little bit more um, because the, the sanding drums can be a little bit rough. Right. And then I, I do a final sanding with a sandpaper on a slotted mandrel. Oh, and there it is. Isn't that gorgeous? So that's what I said when I saw this picture and... Um, Aaron said it's shrinky dink material. I'm like, what? I mean, I think it's gorgeous. And look at this. Just look at that. Oh, I thought that was moss agate or something. Right? Oh, yeah, no. It's like a gemstone. That's plastic. And, and so you know, this one is one that's been, um, that's been stamped with the stays on ink. And that was just a lace, kind of a lacy pattern. Um, and then uh, it shrunk down with the plastic. And my friend took these pictures and her name is Casey Uthus and she's got a blog spot which is runningwithcamera.blogspot.com. Let's bring that up because she took those pictures and if you guys yeah. um, are looking for someone to shoot some of your work, there you go, runningwithcamera.blogspot.com. Check her out. We wanted to talk about her and promote everyone here. So I'm just blown yeah. away. That is shrinky dink material. So <laughs> let me show you um, the shrinky dink site. Now, it's very inexpensive because I asked them about you yes. know giving us a coupon. It really doesn't cost very much. But what they're willing to do is if you order something, you'll get a free gift if you use the gift code. Um, I'm sorry, the coupon code. Elm, E L M, for the number four and free, Elm for free. Uh, and again, that'll come in your um, package um, uh, tomorrow, your email. It'll all be in there. Oh, Brenda, Brenda wrote, <laughs> Brenda, because I, I guess I, I muted Brenda right now. She just said Tanya's going out of business. I forgot a whole lot of whimsy. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm muted. I just didn't want to. Oh, good. You just, okay. I was like, uh, I yeah. think I was muting her. Okay. <laughs> it scared it's, me for a it's second. Still on her. It's still on her site, uh, I believe. Um, oh, wait a minute. Tanya's on. on. Tanya, hi, that. honey. Yeah. Tanya. Um, it's not on that. What site is it on, Tanya? Just um, edit. Oh, here it is. Aaron's tutorial is on www.tanyadavidson.com. So there we go, everyone. Okay, good. Good to see you, darling. Glad you're on. Um, all right, so there. How crazy is that shrinky dick material? And just so you know, when you go in here, um, I love this whole flashing site at you. It's like, what the frick? Here, <laughs> shop online. Um, and then look for the one that says the rough and ready whatever, because there's a lot here. So I'm just saying. You want the magical lot. land of shrinky dinks. Yes. <laughs> I mean, there, just I look at it. How ready. fine could that be? Yeah, it's magical. Here it is right here, right? all the time. Here it is. 
Shrinky Dink's rough, frosted can't you ruffling. Can imagine that in the, in the silhouette next? Yes. Wannery, so type in after here. After she learns enameling, she's going to do this, I think. <laughs> I bet, Wannery. <laughs> yes. We've got your night plan for you is what we're saying, Wannery. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Kim Marie just said recyclable plastic number six is shrinky dink material. But where do you yeah, find that's, that? That's, on like some of your takeout containers and stuff, if you just check your, um, the, for the number six, it'll be in the little recycled triangle. Oh, I'm going to be doing that from now on. Yeah. I think uh, Laura Laura Hart has done done some stuff with um You know what? I think I do. I think you're plastic. right. I remember her saying that. Yeah. That's crazy talk is what I got to say. All right. So that, all right. So wait, I don't want to, um, we show the shrinky dinks. That's going to be great fun. We put your friend's side up. All right. Now I want to show you the class mm -hmm. that. I wish I could call out a number and give, give something away. I don't have anything <laughs> to give away. <laughs> it's okay. You will next time. You're giving away great okay. information and that's very important. And now I'm going to brag that's about, this is the class that Erin is teaching for us. Um, it's coming up. It's her bells class. These ring a ding. How fabulous it is. You want to tell just a little bit of the history of this, Erin? Yes. Um, well, of this particular bell? Making your bells. Or, yeah. Well, I like, um, I, I do a lot of memorial jewelry and commemorative jewelry for people who have lost loved ones or um, pets or just people who want to kind of keep their, those, those people and animals close to their heart. Um, so I thought about doing one with sound incorporated because I used to always go running with my dog. This is my dog Gonzo who's pictured on the bell and he passed away um, about three years ago. But he used to go for a run with me and I loved just to hear his, his uh, dog tag jingle. Aww. So I wanted to make a, a, a memorial style piece but have it have sound as well. So that's where I came up with the idea of the bell. And I had taken um, Donna Panoyer's whistle class, and I just loved the idea of jewelry that makes sound. Oh, and you can get that class. We ha She did that here. There's yeah. two parts here online. It's fabulous making the whistles. Well, I love this so the idea. the class I'm doing will be more about making the bell. I do a slightly, I'm doing a slightly different bail on it. Um, these are sterling, done in sterling clay. And um, I've got some juicy shots that are getting taken right now. So yes, so it's going to be updated, but you can still, um, more photos to look at, but you can still um, take advantage of the coupon code and order that class if you want to do. And like I said, Aaron's another one of these beans, beans. They know how to do this stuff so well. It's scary. <laughs> I, we won't go there. We, let's not go there right now. I like the fiend. It's term. definitely not perfectionist for me. <laughs> no, I was going to say the other one, but I was afraid I'd get, you know, kicked off. So, or muted. <laughs> you yeah. get muted. That's the thing that happens. You, you get muted. You don't get kicked off. You're muted. Sorry. Mm -hmm. You weren't muted perfect off, enough. Yeah. You weren't perfect enough yet. You've been voted off. Well, I'm so excited to see the Bells class, and I'm so excited to share. I mean, aren't these gorgeous, you guys? Shrinky Dinks. Hello. So fun. <laughs> Totally so cool. ridiculously fun. I just love it. So um, said with lots of love. Yes, it is, Gwen. It is. It's said with total love. Uh, and oh, Holly said they sound beautiful. So there you go. People are commenting on oh, your beautiful you. rings. Um, let's see if there's one question here. Is Shrinky Dink a harder plastic than polymer clay when it's baked? Good question, Connie. Is it a hard? harder plastic? Yeah. Does it feel like polymer? Well, I think no, it, it doesn't. It feels, it's more like um, maybe like a plexiglass type of a feel. So but it's pretty it, strong. It's, well, you know, the, the way that I have them sticking out from the ring is it's actually not, there's not a lot that's sticking out from the ring. If you had too much extending, I think it would um, potentially snap off. Okay. But if you laminate two sheets of it together, it'll be stronger. Um, and it's, you probably could get a similar type of effect using some of the different polymers that, you know, the, um, some of the stronger polymers, mm -hmm, maybe Primo mm -hmm. or something, you mm -hmm, might be able mm -hmm. to get something with a mm -hmm. similar, well, um, similar look. It is gorgeous, especially painting with those alcohol inks. So there you go, guys. Start playing with Shrinky Dink. Let's see what you come up with. So. All right, darling. Love it all. Love it all. I've learned a lot. And um, who is going to show us who's up next here? Debbie, it's your turn Me. from the UK. Yay! Me. Hello. Hello. 
Ms. Carlton coming on. Let me Hi. open up all of your stuff. And Erin, thanks again for showing that. And just like showing Thank everything, you. like everyone here who just totally is willing to just share and show <clears throat> how they make it, how to do it, and answer any of your questions. So it's just a lovely sort of thing. Uh, let me open up your pictures. Now this, this is just like so much fun. Sometimes you don't <laughs> want to be, sometimes you just want to enjoy that something is just fun and you're not, um, it's not planned, right? So this is more unplanned Absolutely. fun, I think. Unplanned? <laughs> unplanned is the wrong word. A surprise. Yeah. You never quite know what's going to happen when exactly. you go for it. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. So Ms. Debbie Carlton is going to show yes. us her favorite tool, which she said to me is the ripple blade. I'm like, okay, explain. Explain. So yep. did, and take a look at this. Go ahead, Debbie. Tell them what's going on. Well, the ripple blade has been around. It's one of the older polymer clay tools, actually. And um, it's been around since the 90s. And it's such fun to use. It's not that popular at the moment, which is why I like it. But you can see I'm just stacked uh, some clay. And uh, I'm slicing through it with the ripple blade. And I'm slicing down through the, uh, the slices. And you just get these really funky patterns. You're never quite sure what's going to come up. Um, and what you can then do is put them through the pasta machine and you'll get this wonderful veneer that you can turn into beads or you can turn into pendants, earrings, all sorts of things. Um, and this is just another way that you can use it, slicing through to get a textured bead. I love that. And again, you can, yeah, you can see the, uh, the patterns that show up. Yeah, that and hold on. Yes, just so moving a bit fun. slower than uh, yeah. Okay, so and I can also slice the top of the bead as well, so you get um, this sort of texture all the way through, which I absolutely adore. So you've got pattern, color, texture, um, and then you can just do necklaces and again. Then you just earrings. want to bite it at that point. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> I am a candy girl, so it's hard for me to resist. I think that's why I love All it right. so much. It just was so but juicy. I just wanted to mention Carol Blackburn, who's a really brilliant polymer clay artist. Yes, and, she is. Uh, yeah, and uh, she's come up with a lot of these slight variations on the theme. So she, to cut them at um, an angle, you just get these stunning, stunning designs and patterns, I think, which can look really, really cool. Oh, yeah. It's really fun. And then you can see, I'll just show a, a variety of, uh, that's a, a sort of a, a pyramid bead that you can make, which is really good as well. A twisted one. Totally love it. All right, so now we're going to show some pictures of what yeah. um, you can do with all of this. Here so this is just is. a closer version. Is this just showing up? This is just a closer version of um, some stacks, different colors. You can use mica clays, pearlized clays all sorts of things. Someone else just said, um, who said that? Jennifer said, I always have the urge to bite polymer, so I don't feel so bad now. Thank you, Jennifer, for sharing that with us. <laughs> well, you, you know what? You can put it in the fridge to keep it cool and then make sure that no one goes in and goes, oh, yummy sweets or candies. Exactly. You'll see, yeah. So exactly. ne next one. Fabulous. Next photo. Yeah, so the next couple of photos are just collections of some of the beads that you can make, different styles, different colors. It's just limitless, really. This is why I adore polymer clay, because, you know, <laughs> the sky's the limit. Yeah. It's just amazing that that blade. Um, I love them here in black and white, Debbie, too. I just love the black yeah, and white. Yeah, these are my favorite. So basically, you can actually get a, an old cane, like um, there's a cane in the middle, and you can just slice around the edges. You can slice through the center. You can do all sorts of things. I love um, these. And linking them up. These are so funky at the moment, because I think um, black and white's my favorite color. Yeah, it's very... Uh, very fine. So just to say, there are two uh, types of ripple blade. There's quite a sort of, uh, you can see the picture of them here. Mm -hmm. So there's a, a, a tighter one and a looser one, as it were. Mm -hmm. But you can also use gold mica and, or silver mica clays and impress the ripple blade into those and other little tools as well. And you get this wonderful kind of holographic uh, image. Yeah. Um, and this is on the right. It's a bangle I made with that. Everybody thinks it's wood. Here, here's a close-up. There we yeah. 
Beautiful. Love, love, love. Well, good. Let me just show, first of all, I love this. This is a class that Debbie did with us last time and she showed a bunch of cuffs, but I loved this. And then look at these black and white bangles. I saw those, I think Debbie posted them on Facebook and that's when I said, I got to find this woman mm. and have her teach with us. I just love those. So you want to learn how to do that. There's a recording um, in the Craftcast library that you can download a video. But now this is, I'm sorry, I only had the small view because there was a problem with GoDaddy yesterday. We won't go into that. But this is the new class that Debbie is teaching, which is, mm. you, explain it, Debbie, because you can do it better than me. Yeah, I well, just love the shapes I, and the feeling and the movement. I adore using polymer clay and metal clay and coming up with ways to use the two together. And I started having po uh, metal clay as the sort of the main focal bit with polymer in, in the middle, as it were. But now I'm sort of thinking, no, I want to do it the other way around. And just to use small amounts of metal clay, partly because it's quite an expensive material now, mm -hmm. but you can do so much with it. So this is a, um, a lesson or a tutorial looking at Polymer clay is the main focal bead or the main focal pendant with ways of using metal clay. And in fact, Hattie, if you're still there, you'll recognize the texture on that bale of the spear pendant. So I'll show how to do this sort of um, mineral looking uh, polymer, makume garne, uh, making metal clay. So lots and lots of different combinations of the two materials. So the idea is that a little goes a long way with the metal clay. Oh, it's wonderful. So you can use pearls and other things. And uh, there's a picture, I think, uh, Alison, of uh, how I've used the um, ripple blade to create a bale. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Metal yep, yep, clay. Yep, yep. I do. Oh, let me pull that up. It's right behind here. I was getting too excited. Here is that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, and there's a few more. Yeah, that's. Yeah. And then here's this. So I thought. Yeah. Okay, so that's more with a gold uh, mica, and right. here I've just used a rainbow uh, right. Skinner blend. And then and here so is, again, the mixture of the two, the polymer and the um, metal clay. Mm. And the ripple. And Yeah, so... Uh, so beautiful. Say, and I'm going to tell everyone out there, if you've been... Um, I know, George, isn't it beautiful? I love that. Um, if you have been wanting to do polymer, but you've just been, like, overwhelmed, because that's how I felt, these are great classes to do. I'm telling you, it actually, you can do it. Debbie, did Jesus, you do it, Alison? You, you it. made some, didn't you? I did. I did. I played around with it and it's, it is very addicting. I have to say it's very addicting just how you do that cuff and how you just sort of keep getting more patterns and more patterns. Um, mm. I did make a bracelet that I wear all the time. I love it. Oh, I would look forward to seeing that. But not having seen the shrinky dink, I'm thinking, hmm, <laughs> I could use the two together. But polymer is totally shrinky. addictive, I have to say. It is. It's so it creative is. And, uh, and it's cheap. <laughs> and it's cheap and it's great fun. All right, darling. Well, thank you. Thank you for that. Oh, you're Very welcome. exciting. Sorry, no giveaways, but just to say that these uh, ripple blades are like oh, wait, $2 I have that. each. Yeah, the ripple. Wait, I have a link here. Again, it'll be in here. I just found it on Amazon.com and I noticed that this came with, looks like two different shapes. So this link will again be in your email if you can't find it. But this is by, um, I haven't used it. I'm just saying I saw it and I thought, okay, so for $11.14, you got a bunch of these blades in here. So, yeah. um, and they showed it as a nice big picture. A lot of other sites don't show it. So I just wanted you guys to see that. So there you go. I think, I think you can get that at, um, at like Joann's and stuff too. Oh, really? Cause I, yeah, I actually have those yeah. blades. <laughs> Gotta use them. Oh, okay. Cool. So there you no, go. I know you Go can ahead. get them. Uh, they're about two dollars each if you don't have to get a sort of a pack of them. But it's right. some. It's a tool that just hasn't been sort of used that much of late. So uh, it's lots fun. to experiment with. It's great fun. All right. Thank you, darling. Right. And Aaron, You're I'm going to also. Um, I'm going to mute you for a sec because I hear a little bit. You know what? I'm going to mute you, and while I'm muting you, pull your mic out and stick it back in because I could tell it was getting a little bit of um, static, and that's what you need. To oh, okay. Okay, so let me just mute Aaron there. Thank you, Debbie. You're welcome. Now you can relax. <laughs> you know, it's like put my gym jams on now. Exactly, put your gym jams on now. <laughs> All right, next we're coming up, Mr. Patrick Cusick, who's been waiting in his um, smoking jacket to come on and show us. Yes. Yes, darling. <laughs> Very exciting. So wait. Yes. <laughs> Light that pipe. Wait, let me open up your pictures here. You guys, are you having fun? Are you learning a lot? 
I like all this yes. anyway. Yeah. I know we, we are. Are there any links to photos of Wannery's rings? Um, Wannery, are you on Probably muted? on Yahoo. Let's probably see. on our Facebook page. Pro yes, probably on our Facebook page. Wait, let me... Is Wannery there? Can I unmute her fast? Yeah, let me ask Wannery for you. Let's just do that. Wannery, where can people see links to your... Um, your rings pictures uh just facebook is facebook usually, there you go guys yeah stuff all over there and then the metal clay yahoo groups i've got stuff there and if you're on Flickr, pretty much anywhere there you go or just shoot me an email too i'm always happy to send that out there you go oh dick blicks and joann's for that ripple blade people are saying and hattie what did hattie say oh shoot thank you